Hi and welcome to PCH TV. I'm Kriti. And I'm Francesca. A new club is aiming to bring girls together to support each other. Janaya finds out what the Sister Project is all about. There's a new club called the Sister Project sponsored by Miss Furrow and she explains her inspiration on creating so the group. My inspiration in creating the group was just that I saw a need um, in our young group of girls that they needed some mentorship. Um, I know high school can be a really challenging time for young women and so um, just having someone to kind of lean on and support between um, whether it's myself or each other. Um, I really just wanted to alleviate some of the drama that goes on in high school. That's a natural kind of thing that happens. Um, but really I wanted girls to have an opportunity to set goals, see a bigger picture for their future. Um, and just kind of I decided to join Sister Project was because me and Ms. Farrell had a conversation about helping me get into college and it looks really good on resumes because you can get like recommendation letters for colleges for multiple teachers throughout the Sister Project. I wanted to join the group Sister Project because it just seemed like a nice way for girls at our school to all come together and get some volunteer hours. So in the group, the girls have a variety of options. And like I said, um, one of the big aspects is being uh, community-based. So we're going to actually insert ourselves into the Parkway community and the St. Louis community. Um, so we're going to have a diaper drive where um, after fall break where the girls are going to be promoting um, reach in Parkway in our school for feminine products, so pads, tampons, diapers, so that way we can give those resources and those items to people who don't have the ability to get them on their own. Um, next semester, we're gonna be doing a district-wide dress drive where girls can drop off and donate their past homecoming and prom dresses, and then anyone who needs um, their own dress because they, again, struggle with resources to get that, they have an opportunity to pick up a dress and be a part of those events in the school. Um, girls also have the opportunity where we're partnering with some of the local elementary schools and they can go and read to an elementary class. Um, they can tutor, they can kind of get hands on, again, just focusing on that big picture idea. I hope to gain like knowledge and community service hours because at the end of the year we're going to have a luncheon because Ms. Farrell is the person that runs St. Louis Bucket List and she knows a lot of like female entrepreneurs around the St. Louis area and we're going to like talk to them and I'm going to be able to ask them questions and like get life advice and information about what I want to do. Um, I hope to gain better connections with some of the other girls around our school and Ms. Farrell and Ms. Patton. So the group is open um, just specifically to girls in our school, freshmen all the way up to seniors. Right now we have a lot of interest in from the junior side. I think that those are just the girls who um, have been kind of my babies since I've been here at the school. So there's a lot of juniors involved, but we are always looking for more seniors, um, incoming freshmen. Those are really great because then they get that mentorship right at the start of their high school careers, but just freshmen all the way to seniors. I'm really excited to do the dress drive for Parkway School District because it's going to help a lot of people and women in the area that can't really find the dress that they want in their price range. The activities I hope to participate in are, I guess, like all the volunteer stuff like tutoring at the middle school, reading to elementary schools, and stuff like that, like community service. The group is an awesome group of girls. Um, they are excited. I'm excited. Um, I just think that it is a great way to build relationships outside of the people that we typically hang out with, which is the whole point of the group is just how do we support our sisters. Um, and so just really focusing on that element of friendship, community, um, and just we're, we're just going to be the best that we can be. So just I'm very excited about it. Um, we have a great group, group of girls, and we're always looking for more people to join. This is Janiah Singleton reporting for PCH TV. The fall play, The Play That Goes Wrong, was directed by a new teacher. Amir and DJ talked to Mr. Moore about his new starting role as theater director. For the first time in the past 30 years here at Parkway Central, there will be a new league to the theater program. Mr. Moore. Uh, for the past five years, I was in Orlando, Florida, uh, teaching high school theater there. Um, previously, I was at Melville High School for four years.
Uh, I've been working in theater and theater education for over 20 years now. Uh, so I'm very familiar with the process for both high school as well as the professional industry in St. Louis and other big cities. Mr. Moore reflects on his time here at Central so far. The community. As I've talked to lots of people around um, the Chesterfield area and even like parents or grandparents, finding the amount of history that's a part of this school and how important this school really is to the broader community. Being a new teacher comes with a challenge. Getting to know students, um, being new, being the new teacher at a school um, is always a challenge of uh, finding finding your people, finding the kids, finding the kids who want who trust the program and want to help the program succeed. Mr. Moore speaks on the upcoming 2023 theater season. Um, this year, our season is filled with new plays, so plays from the past uh, 15 years, so hopefully shows that students are a bit more familiar with, as well as uh, comedies, so comedies that I hope that students relate to. We gain more information on the upcoming show this month. Up next, we have The Play That Goes Wrong, which opens November 16th and then plays the 17th and 18th. It is a fun comedy of a troupe of actors who are trying to produce a murder mystery. Um, and on their opening night, we watch as the show goes horribly wrong. Um, props falling apart, actors getting injured, set pieces falling down around them, and they still continue to try to make the show happen. This has been Amir and DJ reporting for PCH TV. One senior tries to bring others together through cultural appreciation and song. Critty talks to this talented student. Zoe Wong is a senior here at PCH. If you haven't seen her at the forefront of the International Club's events, then you may have seen her singing and playing guitar at the yearly cabaret shows. Zoe has had a passion for music since she was in elementary school. So I started um, learning guitar when I was in elementary school. When I passed by like an instrument store, I just saw that guitar hanging on the, like just hanging on the window. And just like when I see it through the window, it looks so cool. Since then, she has been performing in front of many crowds and even has her own Instagram music account when you s listen to a good mu uh, song that you like you want to sing along with it and I play guitar and sing because um, I can feel the joy and I just feel like that I am actually on the stage singing the song and playing that instrument with that singer so which makes me really happy Zoe's connection to music also helps her to express her love for her culture Recently, the International Club celebrated the Mid-Autumn Festival. Zoe led the event and sang a traditional song for the festival. Recently, um, we celebrated the Mid-Autumn Festival from the Chinese culture. We made the mooncakes and then we talked about a little stories and like cultures behind this holiday. Zoe is the event planner of the International Club which means that she plays a big role in organizing all of the events of the club. We want everyone to feel like home. Um, we want to share cultures. Um, we want people to know more about the diversity of our school. Zoe speaks on why sharing cultures is important to her. I really want to share my own culture to other people and also I want to learn about other cultures because I feel like our school is diverse and I feel like we should just celebrate this diversity. This is Kriti reporting for PCH TV. Friendly face around school is also one of the main leaders of a popular club. Maya and Mason have the story. This is Taylor Boyd, a senior here at Parkway Central High School, and she is currently our school's president for the Black Student Union, or also known as BSU. So I was introduced to Black Student Union my sophomore year of high school after the walkout took place and it was led by a whole bunch of seniors. So my junior year, once they all left, that's when I became president. As president of BSU, Taylor has some goals in mind for what she'd like the group to accomplish. As president, I really hope to accomplish like a whole lot of team bonding events, well like club bonding events and have a whole lot of school-wide events that make people feel safe and welcome. 
and as well as specific goals she has for the group, as president, she plans activities for each BSU meeting. So last year we did a couple of fundraisers, like at the very moment we're working on a Halloween fundraiser for the Parkway HBCU trip, and then during Christmas we're going to do an angel adoption. And last year we also did like an UNO tournament, and we had just a whole bunch of pool bonding events planned. Um, she's very nice. She was always smiling, and um, that's just kind of like a welcoming gesture, just smiling and being like upbeat and happy. I think it's important to have a group at your school because you need to have people who you can be your truest self around and who you feel safe and welcome around. This is Mason and Maya reporting from PCH TV. Critty, do you play the games in the school newspaper? Well, actually, I make them. I'm the games editor for the newspaper. Can you solve this riddle? Tyra, Marvell, and Anthony test students. Hi, this is Anthony. Bills and Tyra today with PCA TV, we know a man on the street. You have 13 puppies. All of them but eight died. You got eight. Who well, I'm here with today? Me, I am. Alright, so I got a question. If you have 13 puppies, all of them but eight died, how many puppies do you have left? Wait, what? Oh, wait, if I have 13 puppies and all of them go what? Eight died, how many puppies do you have left? Five, four. If you have 13 puppies, all but eight died, how many puppies do you have left? Oh, eight. Okay. I'm here with today. Jordan. I have a question. I forgot. Okay. You have 13 puppies, all but eight died, how many puppies do you have left? Five. You have 13 puppies, all but eight died, how many puppies do you have left? Oh, um, eight. I'm, who I'm here with today? I'm Brooke. So, have a question. If Y-E-S spells yes, what does E-Y-E-S spell? What? If Y-E-S spells yes, what does E-Y-E-S spell? Eyes? Yeah. Okay. This is Vils, Tyra, and Amp, reporter for PCA. Thanks for watching. Have a great week. Pony, Pony up, Colts. Talk for Tyler is Parkway Central's annual mental health awareness basketball game. The event has raised over $10,000 over the past two years. This year, the Colts take on the Parkway West Longhorns November 28th. The girls start at 5.30 and the boys start at 7 and the t-shirts the admission to the game. About two weeks out from the event, NBHS and boys varsity basketball players will start selling shirts in this area, right here outside the Athletics and Activities Office during all three lunches.